The WS206P and the WS205 have the same operation, they share the same indicator. What we'll do is we'll run through the operation of some of the features for covering both units uh, using the WS205. Some of the features of the WS205 are a large backlit LCD display. Display itself is 40 millimetres high by 112 wide. Uh, the digits 25 millimetres in height. It has a rechargeable battery, counting function, unit change function, check weighing function, RS232 serial output, animal weighing function, weight accumulation function. It can be set up either single or multi-range. One of the features I'll demonstrate today for the WS205 is the counting feature. Firstly, you need to set your, your function keys. In this case, we've already set up our asterisk key here to be our counting function key. So by pressing and holding that key, the scale will prompt us to put a sample of 10 units on the platform. Place the 10 units on the platform, press our enter key, scale calculates a unit weight for that sample. We can now place the rest of the items to be counted on the scale. Another feature of the WS205 is the unit uh, change feature. Again, you can set up uh, one of your two function keys to be the unit change uh, key. And what this will do is it will change our weight from kilos to pounds. So place the item to be weighed on the scale and the weight is stable. Press the function key which is set up for the unit change feature and you'll see that uh, indication change from kilos to pounds. Press it again to go back to kilos. I'll now demonstrate the weight accumulation feature. This allows you to uh, sum multiple weighings and at the end of that get a total weight for those for that number of weighings. So put your first item to be weighed or items to be weighed on the scale and the weight is stable press the M plus key, repeat the process in your next item or items to be weighed, press the M plus key, continue to do this until you've finished weighing all your items, you can then press the MR or memory recall key to give you the total weight for all items weighed. To clear the total weight, press the MR key and then BMC and then the P key and enter. To use the check weighing feature, we must first program a PLU with the target weight and the upper and lower limit. To do this, we press and hold our ref or up arrow key until PLU Pro appears on the screen. Press the enter key to enter this. Select which PLU number we want to program. In this case, it will just be PLU number one. Press enter. We can now set our target weight. To do this, press enter. Use your side arrows to select which digit you want to change. And you can then use your up and down arrows set your target weight. Once this is done, press enter. We can now enter in a high tolerance. So this will be what we will allow from the target weight. So in this case, we may allow a 300 gram upper tolerance. Press enter our lower tolerance and we'll 
also allow a 300 gram lower tolerance. Once that's done, the scar will flash over to the next available PLU. You can continue to program more PLUs or you can just escape and get ready for check weight. Once our PLU PLUs have been programmed, we can now use our check weight feature. To do this, we can press and hold the H-L or the high-low button until H-L appears. You'll see a Y next to it, so currently the feature is enabled. Um, if you see a little N, it means it's been disabled, so you will need to press either your up or down arrow to select the Y. Now press enter. Select which PLU uh, we are going to check weigh. In this case, PLU1, which we previously programmed. And enter. It will flash the target weight. It will also flash the higher tolerance and lower tolerance. And we can now start check weighing our items. We'll see on the display visual bar graph to show us how far away from our target weight we are and as I continue to add weight that little bar graph will get closer to the center. Once we're within our target weight range you will see the indicator change to show that and uh, you will heard a beep as well and just to show you what happens if too much weight is applied see the bar graph start to climb to the opposite side if we're overweight. We'll now run you through how to set up your function keys. You can have various uh, options set to either the escape asterisk key or the F uh, up arrow key um, to choose what you want each key to be set up for. You can press and hold the F key until PLU Pro appears. Use your M plus or side arrow key to you see config. Press the enter key. Scroll across till we see dash key, AN. Currently, uh, the dash key is our asterisk key here, or escape key. It's currently set up for animal weighing. We can change that to no, so no function is set to that key or scroll through various functions, unit function, um, there's piece count, there's, there's a number of functions, you can refer to the manual uh, what the different uh, functions uh, are. In this case we'll set up animal weighing mode for our asterisk key, so once that's selected we can press enter. We can now do the same thing F key, uh, which is this key here, right now it's set to unit change, uh, again, you can select what function you want or disable any functions on the unit key and then press enter. Once this is done, you can press the escape key a couple of times and return to normal weighing. The animal weighing feature on the WS205 has to be set to one of the function keys. In this case, we have set it to our escape or asterisk key. The way it works is, unfortunately we don't uh, have an animal to put on the scale, but I'll just put a weight on there and disturb the, the weight. The way it works is it will sample the moving weight over a period of time. Uh, now to do this, press our function key, you'll see the dashes appear, and while I'm still disturbing the platter, it will then still lock on a weight for us.